Hasselman in the Sweet 16 in Nevada as part of that run. Well, these guys both are terrific, long-time winning coaches, and uh, they're efficient in their preparation. Of course, Eric Musselman, with all the NBA experience, really does a great job of teaching offense. This, this team can play a lot of different ways. They go up and down the floor. They really rebound the heck out of the basketball. They don't shoot it well. That's one, They're one Achilles heel. They're looking to improve that in that regard. And for Oklahoma, really, they're trying to find some depth. They've got five, six really good players. They need some help though off the bench. They're trying to develop their bench. Look for them to try to push the pace as well, but they've got to do a better job on the board because that's one of their weaknesses. Yeah, you saw the starting five for OU. It's been the same starting five every game so far this season for the Sooners, but as Tim was alluding to, trying to find that rotation between six and ten. Part of the assignment for Porter Moser and the Sooners here in the non-conference. And for Arkansas, this is a team, Tim, they're one of eight remaining unbeaten teams, one of two in the SEC with LSU being the other. You know, we already talked about there's a lot of red in the building and the Arkansas fans, <laughs> <laughs> the ones that couldn't get tickets at Bud Walton, they're all here today, Mark Neely. Jerry Pollard puts the ball in the air at Vanover and the Razorbacks have the game's first possession. Containment to key for Oklahoma. They're gonna make Arkansas try to shoot from the outside. Well, these Tony with that left hand, it bounces off Vanover a tip and a rebound for Omoja Gibson. And here come the Sooners with their first possession. And their loss to Butler earlier in the week. That was a problem. The offensive glass they worked hard cleaning it up yesterday. They had the bubble up on the rim. Tough loss for OU. They had a 10 point lead in that game. They lost to Butler. And overtime by four. Goldwire, the Duke transfer, gets in the air. He's able to find throws, but it's blocked by Vanover. Goldwire puts it up and scores. Uh, Goldwire, excellent play down low. Toughness on the ball defender. Also getting in the link, getting all the way to the rim. Mote bumps into Hill. Can't get past it. Steve Davis, who's had three outstanding scoring games in a row, coming in. Evo comes in shooting 66% in the last three games, 21 for his last 32 from the field. Does not start today, though, for the made field goal in his first attempt. Yeah, not a good look there. Kind of a forced attempt. Goldwire was right on Eric Mossman, not happy. And Harkless, the driving reverse and lay in for Elijah Harkless. And getting out transition. Harkless found an angle. That's what usually happens, Mark, after you take a bad shot. The opponent can turn and get a run out because you're all standing. You're not in good defensive position in transition. Tony looking. Van over. Back cut. Bounce pass. Tony has it tied up. Goldwire and Jalen Hill also reaching in there to create the tie up for the Sooners. Possession arrow to Oklahoma. Well, nice block, but good awareness by Goldwire. And these bigs on both teams are very good, efficient passers, and both coaches do a good job of running their stuff. Sometimes they'll go five out with a lot of cutting to the rim off the weak side. Marcus tries to split the defender, throws it up. And off the front rim, rebounded by Jalen Williams, who's been a guy that does a little bit of everything very well for the Razorbacks. Deep three, that is up, no good. And missed by Note, and the Razorbacks have not shot the three ball well all season. Well, Note's only at 27% on the year, shot 34 a year ago. They're waiting for him to get hot, but that's a little quick and a little deep. The Razorbacks, 315 out of 350 teams in D1 and three-point shooting as a team at 29%. Hill, stopped there by Vanover. Got it! That's a three for Harkless. It's a high degree of difficulty too, Harkless, the defender right in his face, but Oklahoma, a lot of energy early. Fifth possession of the game for the Razorbacks, still looking for their first points. Real good, solid containment defense by the Sooners. Driving, denied. Harkless in transition, Gibson a three. Timeout, Razorbacks. You are watching the Big 12 on ESPN. Quick start for the Big 12 team. Oklahoma is at four of their first six from the field. Arkansas has missed their first four in a 10-0 
lead to start the game for the Sooners. No take on the drive. Kicks it to Vanover. The seven-footer can shoot the three. But the drought continues for the Razorbacks who are now over their first five. Long pass. Tanner Groves saves it for the Sooners. Emoji Gibson a two. Hill comes crashing in. Saves it. Another shot for Gibson around it out. Well, the intensity level, you could feel it from our seat here on o for Oklahoma on the defensive end. Just forcing to the sideline. Everybody in good help position. Moving on the pass. Doing a lot of switching and keeping Arkansas at bay on the perimeter. Jalen Williams on a back down hill. Got an elbow up and commits an offensive foul. Now Tulsa. 10-0 OU leading. Just over four minutes into this game. Quite a start for the Sooners. Well, it's all been on about the defensive end of the floor. Arkansas has forced up some quick threes, but the main part, this score is because Oklahoma is on lockdown. They're very connected, helping each other, keeping Arkansas on the perimeter, making them shoot from the outside. Your freshman Bijan Cortez has checked in for the Sooners. Three from Harkless. 13-0 OU. That was a bad defensive mistake by Note. For some reason, he just lost sight of Harkless and was late on the closeout. Chris Likes has checked in to try to spark the Razorbacks, and he's able to feed Devo Davis, who knocks down a three for the Hogs' first bucket of the game. Now that will break the ice. That was... He left Davis wide open on the perimeter. He's only made four threes on the season. They'll take that to Oklahoma. Cortez sees the driving lane. Debo between the legs in transition and a three from Note. Williams, the offensive rebound. He throws it off Jalen Hill as he was stumbling out of bounds. It stays with Arkansas. Well, Mark, we made note of that this yesterday during practice, and so did Eric Musselman and Porter Moser. The four lines out around the three-point line. We've got the high school, we've got the women's, we've got the men's college, and we've got the NBA line. And so far, Arkansas, almost all of the threes have been from the NBA line. And coaches may want to just reiterate that yeah, it's, it's, it's the black line, the, not the red line. The black line is the college three-pointer. The red is NBA. That ball's kicked by Debo Davis. He's able to salvage it, keep it from going into the backcourt. That's a long two. He'll be able to corral the rebound. Now this Oklahoma defense, you can see their game plan is spot on. They are just in the paint, daring Arkansas to shoot from the perimeter. Xander Groves took that three from NBA range. It was a little bit long. Debo Davis a drive, tipped around. Oklahoma, even in transition, building a wall right at the rim. Eric Musselman not happy. He wanted a foul on that play. Cold wire. C.J. Nolan, the freshman. After that right arm with a push, and commits the offensive foul. It doesn't take much for C.J. Nolan to knock you over at, at 6'2", weighs about 229 pounds. He is a fullback out there on the floor and just lowers the elbow. Good play by Likes. Nolan, who's from Waxahachie, Texas, just south of Dallas. One of the true freshmen for Porter Moser. And that's a solid 229, too. He's not oh, carrying yeah. anything extra. He is all muscle and all toughness. Just over six minutes into the game, a 10-point lead for the Sooners. They scored the game's first 13 points. A three, Williams. Jalen Williams, just his third made three of the season in 10 attempts. Another NBA three, no less, but that fires up the Arkansas crowd. And Arkansas defensively seems a little more engaged the last couple minutes. Kicks out for Goldwire. Harkless with five on the shot clock. Well off the left side. Oh, you did not get a good look that trip. That's three or four trips in a row where Arkansas locked down defensively. Mamude in the game. Spinning. Knocks down Jacob Groves. And that's a foul on OU. And Groves looking a little... Flabbergasted. Oh, and short with the delayed block call and 
Porter Moses not happy here on the dribble handoff. Just drives in out of control, and that's a total bailout. When you're spinning out of control in the lane like that and you lose the ball out of bounds, most of the time the officials are not going to give you the call. Quickly back in the game is Jalen Hill. Around and in for Note. Now that's where Arkansas has to attack. They got to reverse the floor and then try to dribble drive into the gaps before Oklahoma shifts their defense. Pulls up from the baseline and hits the floater. Uh, Goldwire's been rock solid. They want him to be more of a leader out there on the floor, but he is showing it on both ends tonight. A lot of toughness. Devo shooting over Hill. Too strong. We're kind of settling in here now, Tim. That was quite a ferocious commitment to this game, especially for the OU fans. I think Arkansas had to get used to the defense that Oklahoma was playing, but now Arkansas taking a step back and leaving another open shooter on the perimeter. That was the freshman, Nolan, his fifth made three of the year. Amude from the right elbow answers the Hawks. Yeah, you called it, Marcus. Arkansas settled in now a little bit better offensively. They're spacing it. They're not rushing themselves. They're Waiting for the defense to make a quick little mistake and then attacking. Shogwash set the screen. It goes out of bounds. We say last touch by OU. Both athletic directors from OU and Arkansas putting this matchup together. And uh, you know, just a great venue. Both fan bases have showed up and both teams have showed up. Now Arkansas starting to settle in a little bit better against this defense. Chris Likes, who's been so good off the bench, really playing starter minutes. He's averaging. 25 minutes per game. He gives them that energy that they need. They want to play up and down basketball, and he's so fast in transition and that time in half court getting all the way to the rim. Starting five back on the floor for the Sooners, with the exception of Shagwa, who fakes the shot and finds Gibson in the corner for three. Tom likes turned his head. He was standing right there, but he wasn't tight enough to contest. Second made three of the game for Moji Gibson. Reverse out there for Amude. We we'll use 8 of 16 from the field. Shagwa, who's from Union High School here in Tulsa, transfer from SMU. Going to go to the line. Nice job on a pick and roll that time, coming down the lane and Shagwa does a good job of ball fake. You better not take your stuff weakly to the rim today because pretty much everything is being contested right at the rim by multiple defenders. Shagwa played four years at SMU, got his degree from SMU last summer. Grad transfer. 86 career starts at SMU. Back at his hometown for his final year. These officials better be on top of their toes today because both of these coaches are working the striped guys in striped shirts pretty hard. Likes going to put the moves on Hill. Davis is spin. Lost it. Loose again. Davis able to get it back. Fires to Tony. It's tied up with Shagwa, but they're going to call a foul on the floor on Shagwa, I believe. And not a tie-up. Yep, it is a foul. Now, if they're going to call this, Mark, we're in for a long afternoon of the whistles because this is just good physical play. I mean, the guy puts up, puts the ball out in front of you. You have the right to go in there and grab it. I thought that should have been a tie-up. Catch and shoot. Likes long with the long two. Run out by Harkless. What you call an athletic rebound. Harkless just went up and snatched it out of his area. Three, Shagwa. Short. 
Porter didn't like that shot at all. Tony, offensive foul. Goldwire takes the charge for OU. Well, Arkansas guards have to pick and choose when they want to fly up and down the floor. Here, there's nothing going on here. The defense is back and set. And Tony's got to pull that ball out and run some offense. You have to pick and choose. You have to look at the numbers. You have to see if, when you have an advantage. Then you attack. But that time, Oklahoma did a good job of retreating, getting back to the paint, and taking the charge. You know, Tony had only one shot attempt in their game earlier this week against Charlotte, which is very unusual for him. Guys, field goal percentage has been one of the better in the nation. That three rattles home. Tanner Gross. Great job by Goldwire there. He just backed his man down. He was reading the defense. He had no intention of shooting that. And once Williams laid off Groves, he pitched it back out to the top. First bucket of the game for Tanner Groves, who's been their leading scorer on the year, coming in at 15 points per game. Or you back to their largest lead of the game of 13. Davis trying to cut into that. Swiss with the three. That's good patience to Davis again. That's his sweet spot over there on the left side of the floor, right in front of the Oklahoma bench. And Oklahoma's got to stay, do a better job of staying attached to him on ball side. Goldwire can't get past the likes. Evidently, Goldwire stepped on the baseline, and Oklahoma turns it over for just the second time. Well, Goldwire at 6'3", and Likes at 5'7". He was trying to just take him down like you do in your driveway and go one-on-one -on -one up right to the rim. And Likes did a good job of just containing, holding, holding ground down low, and he stepped out. Goldwire, who's been leading OU in minutes and 30 minutes per game, takes a seat. Got a couple of true freshmen in the game. Reporter Moser and C.J. Nolan and B. John Cortez have checked back in. Williams selects to pass up the three, drives, blocking foul, and a chance for a three-point play for Jalen Williams. Well, he is a good-looking player. A tremendous passer, can make that shot from the outside. And look at the footwork, the ball fake, and then all the way smoothly, avoiding the contact, just gets enough to get the end one. Williams coming off a career-high 15 points in their win over Charlotte on Tuesday, went 7-9 from the field. Added eight rebounds. Guy blocks shots, takes charges. He does a little of everything really well for the Hogs, and he completes the three-point play there. You know, usually he's looking to pass from out there. And always he's very, very unselfish, and he's a tremendous passer. But today he's being pretty aggressive looking for his own shot. Well, that's another NBA three. Good. <laughs> NBA, international, doesn't matter. These big guys can shoot the ball. They don't go down low anymore. They're taking threes. Likes ran into Williams. Almost traveled with it. No Tay, three. Well, no doubt with all the different three-point lines on the floor, I guess the muscle memory for players is to line up at the furthest three-point line. And in this building, it's NBA range, the NBA line. Again, the black line is the college line, and there's an offensive foul on Nolan, his second of the game. To Creighton in that one, back to you, Mark and Coach. George, Sean, thanks very much. Yeah, Syracuse, Georgetown, that makes me think the old days, the physical games on Monday night on ESPN back in the day. Oh, we were there for a few of those. <laughs> a lot of high energy in those as well, and just like it is today. And, you know, with Oklahoma, it's obvious they're, they're on fire from the three, and Arkansas is going to do a better job of getting out, contesting, and making them okay, put the ball on the deck. But oh, the thing that's jumped out to me on the other end is that Oklahoma is just doing a great job on their own backboards. They're, they're cleaning up the defensive boards. Arkansas only has one second-chance opportunity, and that's been the key because Arkansas has been an overwhelmingly solid, really good rebounding team, and today they get to crack the door against this Oklahoma defense. We saw the Oklahoma AD there, Joe Castiglione. He's been a busy man these days in Norman. Debo Davis off the right side with a three. Three balls been good to OU in this game. They've hit seven of 11 attempts. And hand check there on Note from Note. Well, I don't care what sport it is at Oklahoma, whether it's Lon Kruger or women's basketball or football. We've got the great university, the great conference, and the tradition. 
and the support, but you also have Joe Castiglione. And he will always get good coaches because people want to work for a great athletic director like him. Harkless cut to the basket, basket Groves. It's good defense and Mude to get over and knock that away. It was almost a half step late, but he did, did a good job recovering just to poke that ball out of bounds. And Oklahoma's running that middle, kind of that down the lane pick and roll. They clear out the backside, but that time Mude came over just in time. Back to Groves, going to try it again. He's doubled and finds the open man on the offside. Laid in by Jalen Hill. A treat to watch these big guys. They can step out and shoot. They can defend. And he also can pass. Likes with his speed racing and kisses it in. Making something out of nothing. The little guy knifing his way in there. First basket. Second basket, I should say, for Likes now. Four points for him off the bench. Goldwire. It's a three. Hey, oh, you. Has hit eight threes in this first half, and there's still six and a half minutes left. Uh, they're just very aware of where the, their offensive teammates are on the floor that time. Spaced out on the perimeter. Goldwire almost got the steal. Note launched another three, but again, Arkansas has not shot the three ball well all year. Missed another. Oh, the 20th annual women's Jimmy B Classic comes up tomorrow. Rivals square off. 14th ranked Kentucky taking on number seven Louisville at one Eastern, noon Central. Then it's number one South Carolina. Don Staley's team hosts number eight Maryland. Both games are on ESPN and the app. One app, one tap. And donate to the V Foundation for Cancer Research. Go to V.org. Oh, what a program Don Staley's built at South Carolina. The gold medal in the Olympics. He's just. Tremendous coach. Harkless had to add to the arc of that shot with Jalen Williams coming over to try to block it. He drained it anyway. Harkless is just fun to watch. He is fearless going to the rim. 15 point lead for the Sooners. The largest of the game. A long pass looking for Hill. Davis got a hand on it, but Hill able to come away with it. Harkless lines up a three. Do they have another? No. That's going to round it out. Uh, he missed the big guy. Groves was inside, posted up. He wanted the ball. They didn't see him. Arkansas has got to be patient. They're playing way too fast in the half court. Davis, that was tipped off the cylinder. Amude, you had OU saying perhaps there was some basket interference there, but I thought it was pretty clear it had bounced off the rim. You know, that's one of the hardest. I can never criticize an official for that because, you know, they're all looking at it, and these guys all can jump. They're all above the rim almost on every play, but that was good no call. Five minutes to go, first half. Likes on Grove. Grove's in the post. And that possession was all discombobulated for you that time. They haven't had many of those in this first half. I was waiting to see Tanner Gross put his low post moves on <laughs> Chris Likes. He, he had him down there, but Likes was doing a good job. He actually went around him and fronted him and did a good job of holding his ground down in the box. 5-7 versus 6-10. Six, six six <laughs> and we're not even talking about the weight either. Davis trying to make, break down Jacob Groves. I was going to go on Chagua. So right now, though, Arkansas, they're trying to... Hussman wants them to be freewheeling on the offensive end, but when you come down on the first pass and try to go one-on-one -on -one against a set defense as good as Oklahoma's is, that's when you have some problems. And that's where Arkansas, they just got to reverse the ball a little bit more, get a little bit more movement, a little more cutting, then they can attack. Williams. Davis three. Good. Well, it wasn't a whole lot going on in that possession, but they did get a three point look from Davis. And they did take the time, too. They kind of waited, waited, and found Davis. Got his feet set. That wasn't a rough shot. Chagua the drive. Some contact underneath. That's Jacob Rose with the putback. Gross just doing a good job of having awareness on the weak side, and Arkansas got caught napping.
picked by Gibson. Oh, that is some good defense by Gibson. Just a quick hand. He stumbles a bit, able to get his balance back, and then his pass is picked off and intercepted. Amude, he'll able to come back and knock it away. We're going to say it's off the leg of Amude and over 13 points. They have led throughout, led by as many as 15. And they have possession as we come out of the timeout. 337 to play in the first half. 12 point lead for the Sooners. Uh, Oklahoma is obviously the three point shooting, but more importantly, what more is going to say? Listen, we are so active with our hands. Everything has been contested so far by Oklahoma's defense. Harkless called for the offensive foul as Jalen Williams takes the charge. That's the uh, 17th charge that Jalen Williams has taken this year, most on the Arkansas squad. Uh, you, better be, you better be in con under control if you're in the Jalen Williams' neighborhood because he is such a smart defender, knows how to get in position, and will take it right in the chest. Amude. That's an offensive foul. He clearly displaced Gibson really twice there. And they got the call on the second one. There's nowhere to go. I mean, he's playing, Gibson's right there. He's playing good defense. Where are you going with that? You know, you shoot a little jump hook, turn and face, but just to back yourself in, that's kind of a selfish offensive play. Six first half turnovers now for Arkansas. Six as well for the Sooners. Douglas collects. Hill, shot clock winding down, and there's an offensive foul on Hill. At that time, Mabude takes the charge. He made up for it. <laughs> comes around, goes around. He knew. Uh, Coach Musselman, I think, was going to take him out of the game after the play made. He had likes at the table to check in, but then Amude made the good defensive play, and Chris Lex got the pullback. That happens sometimes. Coaches change their mind. They're allowed to do that. Thought he was coming out of the game, and then he totally redeemed himself. I can quote one of the all-time great movie lines. <laughs> Davis. Exactly. Turn, shoots, and scores. Well, you can see both teams are so well schooled and coached defensively because they're road. Never led in this game. It's been all OU from their 13 0 run to start the game. And they started shooting the ball well. They really haven't cooled off. Sooners have hit six of their last eight shots. And uh, Arkansas has done a pretty good job of getting out and contesting a better job in the last five, six minutes. But Oklahoma has done a really good job just moving the ball, sharing it, and facing the floor. Goldwire sees the lane, drives. Davis on the run, finds Tony, who lays it in, and that gets the Hawks fans on their feet. Happy to see that play in transition. Well, that's what we've seen most of this season. Contesting at the rim, then out in transition, making the extra pass. Goldwire off that front rim. Williams down low. Harkless fouls Amude. And now the Hog fans have gotten into this game. Well, it's coast to coast, and if this game is not for the faint of heart, or if you're weak, and there's nobody weak out on this floor, you go to the rim, you better be ready to have two or three guys come and try to swatch your stuff back, and then the extra pass, running out in transition. Arkansas is starting to crank it up. That was the second foul on Harkless. Amude drains the first free throw. Set up again by a really nice pass by Jalen Williams. I mean, you very rarely see that from a big guy being able to right in the middle of the paint, that little drop dime bounce pass right in front of the rim. Another team has shot many free throws in this half. Oh, you won it too. And with those two free throws right there for the Razorbacks, they're now three of three from the line in this first half. Goldwire's got to settle this team down now. They got to run their stuff. Last couple of possessions, he tried to go one on one to the rim, came up empty. does have some foul issues. They have four players now with two fouls in this first half. Jacob Groves, little floater, good. 
Now the Groves brothers making their mark today. It's usually Tanner, but Jacobs playing very, very well alongside his big bro. For a minute to play, first half in Tulsa. Okay. A bullet pass intended for Amude, and Jacob Groves intercepts that. And Jacob Groves, given Porter Moses, some really good minutes. Gibson, tip. Jacob Groves had a second opportunity, couldn't put it home. Well, Arkansas well, running a little bit better offense, but their defense has been much better, taking away the threes. Contesting at the rim and doing a good job of rebounding and getting some runouts. Razorbacks can hold it for the final shot. Davis almost lost the dribble. Now he nearly gets it picked. Down to four seconds. Tony fouled with two and a half seconds left. That's on Jacob Groves in his second. Yeah, that's a good call. He was in the restricted area and kind of a dysfunctional set by Arkansas, but just their quickness and their awareness and their aggressiveness to come and get the loose ball, put their head, head on it, and go right to the rim. Allow them to draw the foul. So Jacob Rose becomes the fifth different sooner with two fouls and a half, joining Nolan, Shagwa, Harkless, and Hill. Too often in December, you see a non-conference game at a neutral site where everyone in the lower arena is standing. <laughs> so the fans have really taken on the energy of this game as well. It's just both teams, just tremendous athletes, high fl flying to the rim, two, three defenders coming at you every time you try to get all the way to the rim. And Arkansas trying to, trying to play a little bit more unselfishly on the offensive end and a little more with a lot more patience. Final second, Scroves. That would have counted had it gone. Oklahoma led by as many as 15. They're up by six at paced the way for the Razorbacks with 11 points. And it is the Hawks that have the second half's first possession. Good day, strip. There's no tag. Davis, 15 footer fadeaway swish. Yeah, real good patience on that possession. Right. Arkansas learned their lessons well at halftime from the coach. I'm sure Eric told him, listen, we've got to share the ball. We've got to move it from side to side. This is as close as Arkansas has been since they were down 4 nothing. As part of a 13 0 run to start the game for the Sooners. Little bit of a reach in there. And Jalen Williams gets caught for the foul. That was a pretty good call, though. He slapped him right across the wrist. You know, Groves went to make his move with the pull through. You've got to give the offensive player some space. Second foul on Jalen Williams. He joins Likes with two fouls for Arkansas. You have five different players each with two fouls, so they have to keep an eye on that. Jalen Hill. And you can see Arkansas is really out on the perimeter pressuring. There's just a no-no on the baseline out of bounds. Williams. Note gets right past Goldwire. Holds off the right side, though. Tipped around several times. And finally, it's Harkless who gets it. He's on the run. Doesn't have any other help with him. The way he's going to take it himself. That's off. The Razorbacks. Well, do you think these guys want to win? They are playing so hard. Every loose ball, every rebound. There's three, four players, and nothing goes easy to the rim without a contest. I mentioned that Harkless already in double figure scoring, the seventh double figure scoring game this year, and the foul is starting to mount up. Now for the Razorbacks. Okay, knows he's not going to live and die with the three. Now again, another baseline out of bounds mistake Ooh. by Arkansas. And Harkless came down hard on his tailbone. By the way, Williams, three fouls now. 
for the Razorbacks two quickies here in the second half and four team fouls now This is the second baseline out of bounds play in a row. It's just a, the first one was just a simple up screen cross screen and Right to the rim they went and then that was just a simple up screen and backdoor cut And they've got to communicate they're playing so tight that if they're gonna play that tight They've got to do some switching on the baseline out of bounds place and now Chris likes has three fouls so Jalen Williams and Chris likes the first two to three fouls today for the Razorbacks as Harkless is off the back rim with the first free throw. Well, the first free throw, we're going to see a lot of free throws. A minute and nine seconds in, and Arkansas already has 14 fouls and a half. On a two for Elijah Harkless. The lead for the Sooners is back up to seven. Grab there by Amoja Gibson. That becomes contagious too, Mark. Sometimes the officials start, they all try to, they all try to outdo each other with the foul call. I like the first uh, half better so far. Likes. Williams keeps bypassing the threes. No Tay, not there. Well, Gropes did a good job of containing Williams on the perimeter. Hill running down the floor and beats him to the rim and lays it in. Arkansas not matching up in transition, a little no communication, and just let Hill freeway right to the rim. He decides to take the three this time, and it's well off the right side again. Everybody's shooting from the NBA line. There are four three-point lines on the floor here at BOK Center in Tulsa. Something that Coach Musselman, when he walked in yesterday, immediately noticed and was asking us about. Well, we're hoping a couple, a couple of those lines were taped, but obviously not. <laughs> the, the dark beautiful, line. Beautiful building, but that would be my only critique. The black line is the actual college three-pointer, three-point line. But there again, that is a three. He was on the red line, but that's the NBA line. That's a legitimate college three. And Goldwire is fired up. That time they they backed off and dared him to shoot the three. Only made eight on the year before coming into today. And he is. Is it very He and Davis yeah. are going at it. It's a good matchup. Mike gets in the lane and a bump and a foul. I think that's going to be on Goldwire. Last possession, Arkansas got, got, got caught going underneath the ball screen. And they do a better job on goal wire. He just countered the three and said, I'm just going to fire. Mike's lost the handle. Goldwire able to take it away. Catch and shoot three. Gibson, good. Timeout, Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas got the deficit down to three. But an 11-0 run for OU over the last couple of minutes. And it's back to a 15-point edge for OU, equally their largest of the game. OU's defense has just been rock solid. Very connected, helping each other. Contesting, really terrific on the boards. So you coming off that tough loss to Butler in overtime a few days ago in Norman. It's their second loss of the season for the Sooners. The other being a three-point loss to Utah State. That's punched away. Nolan, good play by the freshman. Then the other way, Likes gets a hand on it. It goes out of bounds. They're looking. It's going to be Oklahoma ball. I thought Gibson was yep. going to get bailed out there. He got tackled right in front of the OU bench, then lost the ball, but there was no call. And again, yep. watch this great low post defense. This Oklahoma on the floor contesting it. Head up, pass a little Aaron. Arkansas does a good job, but then Gibson just gets floored by likes. So the officials confer, give possession to Arkansas. Davis finds Williams who stumbles is able to get the ball up on the rim and almost went in but he is fouled and will shoot two. Get 
Arkansas is trying to attack the low post. Somehow crack this defense. This defense has been very impressive for Oklahoma today. Just old school, solid man to man. Good ball pressure, good denial on the wing, and everybody else in the paint ready to help. Arkless and Jacob Groves check back in for the Sooners as Jalen Williams splits the pair, hits one and two, 14 point game. There's pressure in the backcourt. Groves the knock free, got it back. Harkless gives it back to Groves. Too strong with the long one. Ote wants to take it to the rim, lost the handle. Looks like Tanner Groves is going to get hit with his second foul. Now that's what Arkansas needs to do. Any, on any opportunity, they've got to make sure that they can run up and down the floor because their half-court offense has stalled at times today against Oklahoma when they needed a big bucket. But in transition, they can be very, very dangerous. Good job by Note, just putting his head down and getting in the ground. Jacob Groves is going to come out. He's played six minutes today, has four points. Off the Sooner bench. Watch Cody. Practice yesterday. He gets in guys' faces, and then five minutes later, he's got his arms around him. He's, he's got that great way about him. He knows how to be tough, but he knows how to push back to it. Give that much needed positive energy. Tanner Groves on a nice feed from Goldwire for the easy lay in. Boy, Goldwire's played probably his best game of the year for Oklahoma. He's both ends of the floor making that extra pass. Left Davis open, the three rims out for Devo. Goldwire was at Duke. He wasn't at, asked to be a leader, but he is turning into one for Oklahoma. Charge on Harkless likes. Six. Arkansas got it down to three here in the second half, and then that 11 0 run for OU. Meanwhile, Arkansas has missed their last four from the field. They don't have a field goal in the last four minutes. They changed that right there out of the timeout, thanks to Devo Davis. Now, there's Eric Musselman's NBA background at its best. He saw a mismatch there, Devo Davis against Cortez, and he just isolated him, backed him down, took him to school. Looking on Davis. Now Reich's helping out. A little scrum ball bouncing around. It's loose again. Hot potato. The shot clock expires. So it'll be Arkansas ball. That thing was bouncing around for five or six seconds. Nobody could get possession. There's nothing better than six guys on the floor trying to scrape, scrape up a loose ball. And uh, this game had a little football feeling walking into the building today with all the fans out on the street and a lot of energy. And you think these guys want to win? I watched a couple NBA games last night, Mark. I didn't see that. <laughs> didn't see those guys doing that in the NBA? Uh, and we love the NBA, yeah. but this energy is unbelievable. It's great, great effort. And a fun Saturday here at the BOK Center in Tulsa. A lot of hoops still to play. Note three. Good. He had missed his first four three-point attempts of the game. He connects on his fifth and pulls him. Down to single digits, down nine. Yeah, Eric Musselman again. He'll, he'll find a mismatch. He'll find something that works, and he'll keep running it until you stop it. We got it over Lex Hill. Foul. If they get a Mude. Just really good look. A little slide over, and then a screen. A really good screen by Mude on the wing. Those little things that help you win. That made three Arkansas is now five of 14 in three-point shooting. So that's 36 percent. That's actually much better than they've been shooting all the year at 29 percent. Now the problem is that they have not defended the three very well, and Oklahoma's dominated the backboards. And Oklahoma's hit 10 of 16 threes, 63 percent from beyond the arc. Goldwire, line pass into the corner, Gibson. 
And a three off the mark that time for the Sooners. Note slices, pulls up too strong from 17 feet. Hill able to yank down the rebound, came down a little awkwardly, but kept possession. I'm not sure Eric Musselman wanted that. I think he was trying to call special over there on the bench. Maybe a quick shot. Goldwire on a back down likes. Turns, shoots. Try to bank it in. Rebound Debo Davis. Debo. Quick pass. Jam a move Rose for the first time got caught ball watching. Left this man wide open, and Arkansas is starting to feel it now. They do have the advantage crowd wise in numbers, and they're making some noise right now. A Gibson deep three is off the mark. Uh, Paul DeMorgan did not like that shot. Time and score always likes in and out. We need a bucket. Oh. oh. They might have brought the house down for the Hog fans had that one stayed in. Our quick shots by Oklahoma brought Arkansas back into this game. And Oklahoma's had problems with holding on the leads in a couple of their losses. Trying to get it to Groves. He can't handle the pass. Taken away by Tony. Hogs with the ball down seven. Likes. Now Davis. Takes a deep breath, resets it up, up top. Screen and roll. Tony, stop! Timeout, Oklahoma! So it's an elimination of racial disparities and cancer outcomes. You can learn more and help support by visiting v.org slash donate. 100% of your donation goes directly to cancer research. Well, Clay, he's done a long time. A brilliant basketball mind. He's been a lot of time in the NBA himself with the Los Angeles Lakers. And he's been with Eric about three years here. And just really two great X and L guys. Arkansas on a 9 0 run here. They pulled within five. They foul Jalen Hill. And will shoot two free throws with under 12 minutes to go. Well, that was a good timeout by Porter Morgan. He, he needed to calm his team down there. They were starting to feed into the frenzy, which is this building and the Arkansas up and down electricity that they've had in the last few minutes. But it's really Arkansas. It started with their defense. The defense has been better. And then they're trying to push the pace a little bit and attack before Oklahoma gets set in their half court defense. Arkansas ranked 12th in the nation, coming at 9 0, one of eight teams remaining in college basketball that are unbeaten. Two of those in the SEC, Arkansas and LSU. And OU's going to get another shot here at the line. <laughs> Sometimes when. You want to cry, but you just laugh. <laughs> That's what Coach Mosman was doing after the lane violation. And Hill makes some pay, hits that last one. Oklahoma switching their defense, playing some zone. Shooting over that zone. Note is short with a three. An offensive board to Mude. Davis three on the way. Well off the right side. Loose again. And Mude just kind of punched it to the far side. And Likes could not save it. But a couple of opportunities there for the Razorbacks. Well, good opportunity there, though, for Oklahoma to change defenses and change the pace of this game. They know that. Arkansas's weakness is their perimeter shooting. They can, they do have that ability to knock down shots. Arkansas has just got to try to get the ball into the gaps a little bit more against that zone. Goldwire today, four assists in his 24 minutes with 10 points. He gives it up. Tanner Groves can't quite finish. But now he will go to the line. Oh, Groves looks like a big lumbering big man, but he's not. He's got really good feet and he, the ability to catch it on the move in traffic and get it up on the rim. And Arkansas a little bit late on the backside with their rotations. They have to get in front of Groves as he comes flying down the lane on the pick and roll. And another good look from Goldwire to find Groves. As you mentioned earlier, Goldwire's 
played an outstanding game to this point for the Sooners. He really has on both ends. He's a terrific on-ball defender. We all know that. He came in with that reputation. But offensively today, he's done a real good job running the team, settling them down when they really needed to settle down and get a good shot. Tanner Rhodes from the line makes this a nine-point game. Oklahoma looks like they've gone back to their man-to-man. -man. Debo attacks. And into Tanner Groves. Looks like it's going to be the second one on Tanner. <laughs> Debo Davis. He was not to be denied. I mean, that was very good defense by Oklahoma. It looked like Groves might have been straight up in the air with the verticality rule, but... Davis made it look like he got fouled. He just kind of barreled into Grove's big chest and hit the floor. Ten points for Tanner Groves today in his 24 minutes. He got three and double figures scoring for OU. Harkless 11, Goldwire and Groves 10. And Davis just finished a trip to the line. Leads Arkansas with 17. If they go back to this middle pick and roll. Groves. It's on a mood That's what you call point center. Groves putting the ball on the deck with his left hand. 6'10, 235. Quickness. Great footwork. He draws the foul. Amude becomes the first player on either team to reach four fouls today. He's got to be able to move his feet though out there on the perimeter. He just kind of went for that ball fake and got caught at a bad angle. Front end, knocked down by Tanner Groves after the 17th foul of the half against the Razorbacks. Each team with a bonus. Playing with four fouls. Likes. Tanner throws. Saying, hey, I just hold him my ground, but he is going to get another foul. His third. Yeah, I don't like that call, Mark. You know, Likes was out of control. He just threw his body into Groves' chest. I mean, Groves has a right just to move his feet. He was in a legal guarding position. Well, he's just sliding his feet. He might have reached him. But look, Likes create all the, creates all the contact with his left hand. He's going to come out of the game. I know it's 5'7 versus 6'10. It's not fair. But <laughs> <laughs> Likes went right at him. A smart play by him to be able to make it look like it was a foul, but it wasn't. Chris Likes, transfer from Miami, listed at 5'7, which may be a very generous number. He is not shy of taking the ball to the rim on anybody of any size. Uh, he, he did this at Miami, and the ACC was successful at it, and he's... Provides a great spark off the bench. You know, he can do a lot of things. He can push it, be the point. He can play on the wing. He's very good without the ball, too, as far as his cuts, his ability to put the ball in the box on the deck to get to the rim. His free throws make this a two possession game 57 51 Sooners. We're near the midway point of the second half. Goldwire, skip pass, Hill. Good ball movement by the Sooners. But now seven to shoot. Harkless. Shagwa had fallen down, so the pass went right to Note. Note bumped by Goldwire. And an OU foul. Uh, we talked ad nauseum about Oklahoma's rock solid half court defense, but now Arkansas, they've stepped up their game on the defensive end of the floor. Pr this pressure, overplay, ability to deny and help in the paint has really caused Oklahoma some problems.
Marte, a 72% foul shooter from the line coming in. And he's a perfect. Right now, 4-4 four four from the line. Uh, Marte, pretty smart play. That he, he saw Goldwire was off balance, but wasn't a good decision to jack a three, but it turned out okay. Marte hits all three from the line. This is as close as Arkansas has been since the early going. They did get it down to three early in the second half as well. Harkless blocked by Note. Then Harkless able to get it back with his quick hands, and he's fouled by Note. Just when it looked like the Razorbacks were going to head up the floor with a chance to maybe tie the game, Harkless able to steal it back for the Sooners. Uh, Elijah Harkless, Note plays just unbelievable defense, but Harkless relentless on the floor, causing the loose ball, and then gets the benefit with the extra effort. Two shots for Harkless. <laughs> That's great. Are they eating some chicken strips? Let's go. They don't like the calls either. <laughs> Devo Davis. Is a lot of chatter out there. Jerry Pollard just told him to knock it off. I like the way Jerry Pollard handles the game. You know, he doesn't, doesn't make it about himself. He went over there and just told Davis, knock it off. This game's too good to have any extra yeah. stuff. Jerry Pollard, one of the best. All right, it's back to five. Nine and a half minutes to go in Tulsa. Stumbling. Davis lost a handle. Cortez. Shagwa! Oh, Cortez. The presence of mind, the opportunity. Davis trying to force the issue, but Cortez ever aware. Note, the freshman fell down. Defensively, Davis, three! Wow, big rainbow over Harkless. Devo Davis is what you call a confident player. He makes bad plays, and then he makes unbelievable plays. Devo's fourth three of the game has made it a four-point game. Chagua. Gets around a Mude and lays it in. Shagwa better run back on defense, though. Yeah, he did the flex and was a little late getting back. A three off the right side from a Mude. Loose ball. Likes can't get to it. Harkless does. Try to long pass to lead Shagwa, but it was a little too long and goes out of bounds. Uh, this is what Portimoja talked about to us yesterday in the Butler game, in the Utah State game. I don't think they had leads, but they they weren't smart down the stretch. They're gambling plays, trying to make hit the home run on every possession. You know, you've worked too hard to get a six-point lead. You've got to make sure that pass has got to be absolutely perfect. I think that's what Portimoja was saying right there to Harkless, who goes to the OU bench. Hill trying to stay in front of Note. Loses the dribble. Loose ball. Tied up. Possession arrow to OU. Fighting 93. Mark Coach. Jordan, thank you. Here in Tulsa, 7.58 to go. It's been a great game between the Sooners and unbeaten Razorbacks. OU ball out of the timeout. And they are up by six, are the Sooners. Arkansas doing a really good job of containing Oklahoma in the half court. Keeping him out of the paint. Hill spins. Gets to the lane. Gets to the rim. Can't hit. It bounces out of bounds off OU. Oh, there was really nothing there, but Hill made this play. A little spin and move in the lane. But again, the presence of Williams just coming over. Ever, ever to deter. Evo Davis leading all scores with 20 points. He's hit four threes. 
He's added five rebounds and three assists. Jalen Williams, the right-handed dribble, tough shot off the left side. To stay with the Razorbacks. Tanner Groves returns for the Sooners. Jaguars played eight minutes today off the bench with five points for OU. Catch and shoot three. Likes in and out. Jerry Pollard is given a flop warning to Likes. Okay. Day is not made until we have a flop <laughs> warning. <laughs> Which has been a one of the points of emphasis for officials this year. So it's stop play. I was trying to draw one over there in the corner, but old Jerry wasn't have any of that. A slip under the seven-minute mark for the BOK Center in Tulsa. Oklahoma has led throughout in this game. He scored the game's first 13 points. Hill from the corner. A tremendous patience there by Oklahoma. Arkansas got caught ball watching and over helping in the corner. Remains with the Razorbacks. And here you see on the three, over helping. Debo Davis just leaves Hill wide open. He takes four steps towards the ball and leaves Hill uncontested. First three of the game for Hill is fifth made three of the season. Tough shot likes, he left that short. And the freshman Cortez holds down the rebound. Uh, likes is an energy guy, but that's a little bit of a fourth shot. Rogues for three. Just when you thought Arkansas was going to creep back into this thing and maybe take the lead, Oklahoma just plays smart and tough. Well, the Sooners on an 8 0 run over the last two and a half minutes. Arkansas can't end it right there. Groves again. This is what Porter was talking about, though. That's not needed. You can get that shot at any point in the shot clock. Debo foul. Davis yeah. just got hacked on the arm. No, no call. call. Now Tony has to get up off the court. Goldwire, that's that was kicked, it looked like. Almost by Williams. Well, that turnover made Porter Mosier and the, they themselves have to be a little bit more patient in the half court as well. Lead is 12 for OU. Davis underneath the Williams. Missed the bunny. Loose ball coming this way. Hill able to get to it. Well, good job by Jalen Hill. Understanding that Arkansas was back. Don't force the issue. Arkless saw an open lane. Driving. Can't hit the reverse lane, though. Saved along the baseline by Tony. You can saw one of eight unbeaten teams left in college basketball. Now to the last four and a half minutes, down it does. And Davis trying to cut into that, but can't. Harkless and Groves banged into each other, but it's OU ball. You know, there's nothing going on on the backboard. So Oklahoma just building a wall. Blocking out, not allowing the second opportunity. Tenth rebound for Harkless. He now has a double-double today. 13 points, 10 rebounds for Harkless. Gibson. His fourth three of the game for Emoji Gibson. Well, that's, a, that's a possession that Porter Mojer will frame and show to his team over and over and over all season long. Patience, spacing, ball movement, extra pass. Likes a miss from a close. Williams, Cortez tying it up. 
possession arrow and keep it with the Razorback. A 15 point lead, which equals their largest of the game. And how about this balance scoring? All five OU starters are in double figure scoring. Well, again, they did a great job in the last possession. Every time they kind of have timeout and settle things down, they run good offense. And they found the open man. Ote off the lip. Tony strong going back up. Too strong. Loose. Tony ties it up. And Musselman just got teed up, and he is furious. And he just got thrown out of the game by Jerry Pollard. And Eric Musselman had to be restrained and still being restrained by some of his assistants after getting a technical and then an ejection in about a five-second span from lead official Jerry Pollard. There's still three and a half minutes to play, but Arkansas on the ropes looking like they may fall from the ranks of the unbeaten. It would be the first time they've lost since they lost to Baylor in the Elite Eight last year in the NCAA tournament. Of course, Baylor went on to win the title. Well, Eric Bussman's been unhappy from the get-go today with the calls and with the way his team's played. And then sometimes that frustration will build. And in the NBA, that's just a little fine, but college... A little bit bigger deal, but he usually is pretty composed over there. But he's just, it's, it's, this has been building, and uh, he's seen enough. So is Jerry. Well, I'm assuming Clay Moser is now the acting head coach. So we have a Moser versus Moser coaching battle here for the last three and a half minutes. They're unrelated. Porter Moser and now Clay Moser there on the left. Running things for the Razorbacks. Eric must have said the magic word because Jerry Pollard is a veteran official and uh, I'm not going to throw three out of the game just for losing your temper. Hill unable to get it in, so he asked and is granted a timeout. A 19 point lead and looking very comfortable with three and a half minutes to play in Tulsa. 15 on run here for the Sooners. Yeah, they're gonna put some pressure, see how Oklahoma reacts. But Jalen Hill's played a, not only a good game defensively, but a really good floor game. He helps out, bring up, brings the ball up, shares it, plays with a lot of toughness. Harkless, a spin. A, wow, nice move by Elijah Harkless. Kind of putting the icing on the cake for the Sooners on this Saturday at Tulsa. Well, you said it well, Mark. You talked about the five guys in double figures. Maybe a little too late for Arkansas, but the deep three banked in. Harkless with 15. Groves and Goldwire with 14. Gibson 12. Hill 11. All five OU starters, as Tim was alluding to, a double figure scoring. Now, this is a huge step for Porter Parker as he tries to build the program in his own way. A lot of new players and sharing the ball, playing rock-solid defense right from the get-go, and that's how this game got established. And then they made shots, and then when the threes were taken away, they found another, other ways to score by sharing the basketball and being very aggressive to the rim and getting the free throw line. Both these teams, after this game, have some time off because it's finals week. The exams kick into gear. Oklahoma won't play again until a week from tomorrow, Sunday the 19th of December against Texas Arlington. And Eric Musselman's team doesn't play again until they host Austria, actually in North Little Rock a week from today. Well, got a four-year agreement for these teams to come back yeah. here next year. <laughs> I'd love to come back too, man. It's this first edition of it's been a blast. I'm not sure Eric Muscle must be yeah. back. <laughs> Amude, three. Been great energy in the building. It's been let out on the Arkansas side here in the last few minutes with the game being out of reach and their head coach being thrown out. Harkless. 
Uh, just a terrific game plan by Porter Mosier and his players executed it to a T. And they put good ball pressure, but they made Arkansas take a lot of tough shots to the perimeter. Nothing was easy at the rim. Arkansas fans booing the non-call there. This is the most points scored by a Razorback opponent this year. The 82 is counting here for the Sooners. Gross. Wow, he's playing an unbelievable game, too. I mean, you can go up and down this lineup, and everybody gets a check plus because everybody contributed in a lot of different ways on both ends of the floor. And nothing makes a coach happier than when you put a game plan together and your team goes out and executes it perfectly. Well, Arkansas will fall from the ranks of the unbeaten after today. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66, proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball. Oklahoma never relinquished the lead at any point today after scoring the game's first 13 points. Arkansas a couple of times in the second half got it down to three, but Tim, just when he thought maybe Arkansas was going to perhaps tie the game, get over the hump, Porter Moser's team made the plays. Well, a few things happened every time Arkansas made a rush. Porter Marshall called a nice timeout, settled his team down. They ran a special. And also their players settled themselves down out on the floor. And they had a couple miscues here and there, but every time you thought they, they might collapse, Goldwire put them on their back. And that guy, <laughs> he can put the whole team on his back and not feel it. 16 points for Tanner Groves today in his 30 minutes. His brother played well. Jacob Groves Shagwa gave solid minutes off the bench. Cortez came in. Freshman did a nice job as a backup point guard. Well, he gave you a little tease, but the Heisman will be handed out tonight. You can watch it. The 87th annual Heisman Trophy ceremony. The four finalists. The favorite, Alabama quarterback Bryce Young, Ohio State QB, C.J. Stroud. Pitt quarterback Kenny Pickett and Michigan defensive at Aiden Hutchinson. And 2011 winner and our colleague Robert Griffin the third will announce the winner. That's 8 Eastern tonight on ESPN. We've got Kansas, Baylor, Texas, and Iowa State, but Oklahoma can be a nuisance for people as they grow into learning each other and understanding what their coach wants. Sooners will improve to 8-2. and two. Up ahead for Davis. He's been their leading scorer today. 24 points with that stuff for Debo Davis. Leading all scorers this afternoon. Now you alluded to conference play. It begins January 1st for the Sooners against Kansas State in Norman. Conference play for the Razorbacks. It's underway on December 29th in Mississippi State. Note lines up a three. And let's see if Oklahoma's just going to kill the rest of the clock. Well, 22 point win for Oklahoma. Uh, we'll see if it ends at 22. But it was an intriguing game, really, until the final few minutes. It was. And, you know, you, you thought that Arkansas was going to make the runs. They did. But then Oklahoma's, their smarts and their toughness really prevailed on the stretch. And it really started with their defense. And they just would not allow Arkansas second chance opportunities. And they ran when they had their opportunities. But they also did a really good job running half court off and sharing the ball. Uh, a lot of different guys scoring in a lot of different ways. Well, round one of what... It's supposed to be a annual for four-year meeting in Tulsa BOK Center between these two squads. Year one will go to Oklahoma. Final seconds from T-Town. Davis adds to his game high total of 26. And 88-66 Oklahoma will be the final. 22-point win for Porter Moser's Sooners.